Alright, so today we're going to make a maze game. So we've created um, a balloon game or um, other games before and so this one is a little bit more complicated and we've got to remember when we design games we have to think of all the different things we wanted to do. It's all about planning, okay? And so here I've got a little list of things we're going to learn how to do in this game. So we're going to make a maze, worry about the player, have an enemy that moves around, tries to follow you. Coins will be an individual video, so if you want to add, if you want to add coins or don't want to add coins, that's fine. Teleporter, you can teleport your player all around the maze. Um, and speed will be another learning how to do power-ups. One other thing is the menus. We'll also do menus. So let's get straight into it. Let's go file, new, and new empty project. Now remember, you can always split this half and then put in um, you know, your YouTube video here, okay? I'm gonna do full screen, because it's just easy for me. We'll click on the gray part of the screen, type in sprite. Here we are, all right. Um, now we have to find our maze picture. So before we just leave it open, go to the internet. All right, here's the internet for me. And maze, type in maze. You can get any kind of maze you want. I am going to choose this maze. Yep. All right, so you go right click, copy image. So we copy it. Okay, and then we just press Control V. Enlarge canvas. There we go. Crop it. And here we are. We've got a beautiful maze. Make it really big. The bigger, the better, in my opinion. All right, let's make it all the way. So it's a little pixelated. Just pixelated means that you can see the little dots of the pixels. That's fine, we're not too worried about that. We're going to rename Sprite to Maze. And then we're going to double click on the grey part of the screen. Sprite. Um, and now add our player. I'm going to fill it in as a blue box. Now remember, you don't need to have complicated graphics. I know you guys like to do complicated graphics, but to begin with, we need to learn the mechanics of the game. I'm going to start it right here. You can start it wherever you want. I'm going to start mine. Oh, sorry, oh, the start is up here, so I'll start him up here. Then we go to behavior, then type in direction. So we're going to add eight direction behavior. Now let's test out our game, see what happens. Oh, didn't like that. Try that again. There we go. Alright, so here's my player moving around the maze. It's not so much fun yet because my player can simply go through the walls. So that's the next step we need to do. We need to program so that the player can't go through the walls. But before we do that, let's go back to, you know, our game. Once you know, the player is gone, we can't see him. So we always want to see this player. We don't ever not want to see it. So we're going to add another behavior today. Click on behaviors, press the plus symbol, and type in scroll to this one here. All right, so now we test out our game one more time. And here we go. The camera is following us at all times. The reason why we've made our maze bigger as well is so that we don't know where the exit is. All right, we do because you know we've made the game, but they don't. You know the player doesn't know, and so that's really important to do. All right, so sweet. So we've made our maze. Our next step is um, we're going to add another sprite. Double click on the grey part, sprite. I'll make my barriers a nice red-ish color. There we go. I'm also going to play with the opacity. What does opacity mean? It simply means transparency. So, uh, you know, like a window is transparent. All right, this is the same thing. At the moment, there's no transparency, but we're going to put it 50. And so we can see behind it, just like a window. All right, so we're just going to just do this. 
We're going to do it for every single black line here. So this will take some time. We're just going to press Control C, Control V, and then click here. Okay. <clears throat> Make that a bit smaller. Control C, Control V. Control C, Control V. You see, I'm not making a new sprite. I'm just simply pressing Control C and then pressing Control V. All right, now let's do some angle ones. So to change the angle, you just type in angle here, 90 degrees. Wow, so awesome. So easy. So now it's starting to look like a real maze. I'm going to let you finish that off, but before we do that, we're going to rename this to barrier. That's really important. Then we're going to give our barrier a behavior, click here, behaviors, called solid. Now we're going to test out our game again. So I can no longer go through these walls. I have to go around them. So we've started to make our game what it should be. All right, so I'm going to let you finish off doing the rest of the lines or say 90% of the lines and then come back and um, watch the next part of this um, series.